And you've been at J.P. Morgan Chase in one form or another for 20 years. Um, Close to 25. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. For 25 years? <laughs> How did you get into the position that you're in? And did you ever envision being in this spot 25 years ago on day one? Yeah, I, I certainly didn't envision being in this spot 25 years ago. I was in the finance area, in actually within the investment bank, uh, for a very long time, about 17 years. And then I uh, moved over to what was then retail financial services uh, as the controller, and then ultimately um, became the CFO for the mortgage business. And, uh, and then was asked if I was interested in doing something completely different, which is a testament to our company and the risks we're willing to take with talent. And so I was asked to do something completely different and ran business banking uh, for a few years and then about a year and a half ago moved into cards so definitely never saw it coming uh, but it's been a fantastic journey and uh, I've never I've never been happier truly so what advice do you have for someone who's starting out in a job who wants to be able to envision themselves in a role like this yeah well I think it's really important just work hard uh, that's a that's a that's a big key to success. Intellectual curiosity. Uh, I think that's really really important for people to always be learning, always anticipating the next question. And then I think being a great partner, being someone that's a great problem solver that people want in the room when they're working on a project or working to solve a problem. And that means not only having that intellectual curiosity and be willing to work hard, but it means having heart and humanity and being your authentic self. So uh, I think all of that is really important. Uh, for success. And any big lessons, like biggest mistakes that you've made in your career or biggest successes? Well, I would say, certainly, uh, if I could speak to my younger self, <laughs> I would say, uh, first of all, Thomas Jefferson said it, and he said it best, which is believe you can and you're halfway there. And so, particularly for women, I think it's so important that we remain super confident in what we're doing and know that, like, we were made for this and we got this. And, uh, and then still to have the humility to know that we can ask for help and should ask for help. I ask for help more now than I ever have before. And then, to you know, to have the humility to know it's okay to have a bad day and, uh, and we got to keep moving on from that um, surrounding yourself with great people both personally and professionally uh, I'm a mom of three boys and so if I didn't have the amazing husband I have I could never do what I do at work and so that's uh, you know critically important and then life begins at the edge of your comfort zone I mean I think uh, for years in the beginning of my career I avoided being uncomfortable and uh, and then when you realize you allow yourself to be uncomfortable you grow through those experiences and uh, and it's incredibly rewarding and you've been at JP Morgan for all of JP Jamie Dimon's tenure as CEO. Any lessons that you've learned from him, and what kind of boss is he? Uh, well, he uh, he makes us all better. Uh, so he is just a tremendous leader. I think um, he he shows us how to analyze things more deeply, to know your numbers, to understand your business cases, to make sure that you're you're creating the time to be able to always be learning, not just about our own industry, but about other industries that may be relevant. Um, to always be focused on investing, and uh, and then culture, and how much culture matters. Uh, I would say we have a really smart uh, execution oriented culture but as Jamie says sometimes it's a lot more about heart than it is mind and so we have a smart execution oriented culture that has a lot of heart and a lot of humanity and uh, and it's not even just about Jamie he has surrounded himself with the most talented operating committee I think on the planet and uh, and each one of them is world class and so it's really about the entire leadership team that he's created that makes us have such a strong culture.